Hi right, guys, this is just going to be a really, really quick video. Uh, just a quick update and, and, and give everybody a big thank you for all your support. Um, as you're all probably aware, so uh, those in the know uh, are already aware that um, yesterday, my section five, um, I got not gilly. Um, so yeah, really, really good outcome for us there. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, in his outies and in between us. This is Spitshine69, a YouTuber and someone who I've spoke about a while back regarding a Section 5 arrest for filming outside Carlisle County Council, where he was found not guilty. Well, news reached me last night from Current Climate, which he's posted himself not long ago about Spitshine 69 and in the interest of my promise to be transparent and truthful with all of you, it's my duty to share this information with you. Spitshine 69, otherwise known as 40 year old John Michael Wheeler from Appleby, has, I'm sorry to say, been recently convicted of a string of child sex offences dating back to 2017. John was in court last Friday the 7th of February where information given says he was found unanimously guilty of 8 out of 10 charges, not guilty on one of the 10 charges and the final charge the jury couldn't come to a decision on. The case has now been adjourned for a pre-sentencing report to take place when John will be back in court on the 27th for his sentencing. In the meantime, I believe he has been remanded in custody. I want you, my subscribers and followers, to know that I have supported John in the past, shared his videos, spoke about him in videos, but at no point did I know of or was aware of any of this until very late last night. And even then, we were waiting for some additional information to confirm 100%. This is horrific news from within the community, but as said, in the interest of transparency and honesty, I had to share this information with you. No one, absolutely no one, who does this kind of thing deserves leniency. No one who knows about this kind of thing and doesn't speak out deserves respect and this channel is built on honesty, integrity and respect. Therefore, now I know the facts, I am sharing it with you and not keeping it from you. Again, I have had dealings with John on the phone, in text messages, sharing his videos, commenting on his videos. But once more, one more time, I had no idea that any of this was going on until very late last night. At which point, the person who told me, current climate, was still waiting on a piece of information to confirm 100% that this was the person. And this morning, as current climate's video has gone out, Clearly that's been confirmed. So there we go. It's a sad video to make. Nobody wants to say things like this about people that they've had dealings with. Nobody wants to imagine that people that they've had dealings with is, is capable of or involved in anything like this. But there we have it. Sorry for the content of this video, um, but again, it has to be it has to be put out there you have to be made aware um, and I have to let you know where I stand with regards to that and you know as I said I have contact have had contact with John 
um, on the phone and through YouTube. Uh, but nobody that is involved with anything like this deserves any respect, any leniency, or any forgiveness. Thank you for your time.